Hello Twin Flames, I'm Lisi with Twin Flames Heart's Desire Ascension Coaching and today's video topic is all about the question, what is the difference between Twin Flames and Soulmates? What's the difference? So um, many of you have heard the term Soulmate, uh, many of you have heard the term Twin Flames, but um, I'm going to explain the difference. It's very easy and all of what I know comes from Jeff and Shalia, my spiritual teachers, and you can learn too from this book, Twin Flames, Finding Your Ultimate Lover. That's available on Amazon. Order it. It comes in a few days. Or you can get the audiobook or um, the Kindle version. So let's get started. So what is the big difference between your twin flame and a soulmate? The easy answer is your twin flame is forever. Your twin flame is your eternal partner for all of your lifetimes for eternity, right? That's forever. <laughs> your soulmate comes into your life for a time, but then you don't make the same core choices as your soulmate, so they leave. They, they don't stay with you the whole time. Your twin flame is your perfect romantic partner and your perfect partner in all areas. So they connect spiritually, emotionally, physically, with your life purpose. They are your perfect divine counterpart. They are your perfect mirror. They're the person who reflects you the most to yourself in all of creation. They're going to reflect you. What do I mean by that? Well, I don't mean that they look the same as you. They're not your doppelganger, right? Um, I mean that they're going to bring up your stuff right? They're going to reflect all of your attributes. I'm going to read a little part of this book to you um, so that you understand what I mean. Um, and this is in chapter eight. <clears throat> okay, so you're, you and your twin flame are one at the core. You share the same one soul blueprint. So from this soul blueprint, there's a divine masculine that's created and a divine feminine that's created and together you make up the union and that soul blueprint you can call it a ray so in the book it says when twin flames restore themselves from separation consciousness to form a complete ray a much deeper love is experienced the energy which can be expressed through and between these souls is tremendous everything they experience together in their lives is amplified Love, pain, emotion, excitement, fear, all expressions and experiences are amplified in the lives of united twin flames. And this is why it can seem so daunting to be with your twin flame because you and your twin flame are, are one and you amplify each other. That's really, really important. This is why, this is the book again, this is why it can be so difficult at first for twin flames to be together. If they have not healed themselves enough of their separation consciousness to be individually balanced, bringing in their twin flame amplifies the upset which they already are experiencing. Okay, some twin flames experience tremendous rapid growth and huge upheaval and upset. Other twin flames may experience tremendous love and peace. It all depends on where you are within yourself when you meet your twin flame. So given that, it's really, really important for you to start this inner work no matter what part of your twin flame journey you're on. Because if you're watching this video, chances are that you're on a twin flame journey whether you know it or not. You're subconsciously calling in your twin flame. You desire to be with your perfect partner, your one true love, your ultimate lover, right? This is your twin flame. A soulmate is somebody who may feel like comfortable, maybe someone that you feel energetically or spiritually close to, maybe a romantic partner. Soulmates are just people that kind of fly next to you during one lifetime or maybe a couple lifetimes and then they go on their way once a new choice has been made in your heart. You and your twin flame, however, choose as one. You make the same core choice. If you're holding on to the belief in separation, the illusion of separation, that you can be separate from your one true love, that you don't deserve to be with your twin flame, um, that your twin flame would never love you, that you don't deserve love, that you're unlovable, that you're unloving, any of these sorts of beliefs in separation from love, guess what? <laughs> According to what we know, your twin flame is going to amplify 
those misaligned beliefs, meaning you're going to get around your twin flame and they're going to reflect them right back to you. They don't cure you of anything that you have to heal. You've got to use something called the mirror exercise. I talk about the mirror exercise a lot in my videos. This is what I use in my coaching practice for twin flames. And this is the only tool that you need on your journey. It's also in this book. So I, I, t I tell you, this is like the twin flame Bible. Get it. <laughs> um, it's so good. And I really hope that, that it brings you a lot of relief. It did for me. And I, you, you can read it and reread it um, and get more out of it each time. Um, there's also, for those of you who really want to heal your union, who are tired of experiencing separation, who um, want to end the suffering that you may be going through, it's time to take another step. So get coaching. I can help you. So try an introductory session with me and then join Twin Flame Ascension School. You can watch the first few classes for free. These are recorded classes. They're 90 minutes long. Plenty of information in those classes that is that are going to help you to really understand the Twin Flame dynamic and know how to navigate it and then heal your consciousness, heal your heart, right? So Get the support that you need. This journey's not going anywhere. People have tried to leave the twin flame journey and you're, you're not going anywhere, right? You can just delay the inevitable, but that doesn't feel good. It feels much better to um, succeed. It feels much better to face these challenges that are coming up in your union. If you're not with your twin flame, it feels much better to address the feelings that are coming up. Maybe you feel hopeless. Maybe you feel like, um, you, you can't move forward. Maybe you've, you've, you're like ready to give up because you're so frustrated at all the, the going and coming, right? Those are nothing to be worried about. Those can be healed with a mirror exercise. So look at my video playlist. There's a ton of videos on what if my twin flame is ignoring me? What happens um, if my twin flame is married or dating someone else? All these things that are happening in the external reality you can heal with the mirror exercise. It's just an upset in your union. Now, some people prefer to settle with a soulmate, but in my experience, yuck. <laughs> that doesn't feel very good because your soulmate is not only um, not designed to be with you for all of eternity, but they're just not designed to be with you. Keyword designed. The divine designed you to be with your twin flame together as one in all ways, including physically, right? Your twin flame is your ultimate lover. So yes, you get to have twin flame sex, yay. But you can heal in order for you to be around your twin flame for long enough to um, not experience these upsets. And, and like the book said, some twin flames experience a very harmonious togetherness. Jeff and Julia's work, Twin Flame Ascension School, will heal your consciousness so that you can attain harmonious union with your twin flame in this lifetime, not next lifetime, here on earth so that you can live under one roof, be together. Um, things that happen with me and Josh is I, I never thought I would heal these things. I never thought I would be healing the blocks that I went through. I, I thought my union was hopeless. It's not. You can heal your union and you can learn how to be with your twin flame without getting too triggered. Another word about um, soulmates is uh, a soulmate can be anyone, right? So like I mentioned, a soulmate is someone who, you know, accompanies you for a time in this world and then you, you part ways either in this world or as you, you pass away and then you don't come back with each other um, in the next lifetime. But the, the truth is that um, a soulmate can not, not just be a romantic partner. A soulmate can be a brother, sister, teacher, parent, right? Again, these are people who accompany you. And that's another big difference between twin flames. A twin flame is always your romantic partner. This is why um, it's most compassionate that God designed you so that you would never be, uh, you and your twin flame would never incarnate as brother and sister or mother and child or father and child, right? So that's, that's never going to be your twin flame. Um, so you can, however, your twin flame union can incarnate with a large age gap. I'm 14 years older than my twin flame. You and your twin flame can incarnate in the same gender. Although one, is, one of you has the masculine polarity, 
and one of you has the feminine polarity. If you're in the same gender, the polarities are still there. The genders are just, uh, we call that a same-sex union, right? Um, you can incarnate in different countries, but you always will incarnate on this earth in a way that is compassionate for you to be with your twin flame physically, including always, right? So it doesn't sound compassionate for a 90-year-old to be incarnated with the twin flame who is two, right? So yeah, keep that in mind that you and your twin flame are meant to partner in all ways. You're meant to um, get married here on earth. You're meant to live and thrive and serve humanity together. Well, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye-bye.